Paddington had never been shopping in London before, especially at a store like Barkridge's. Equally, Barkridge's had never had a customer quite like Paddington, especially in the gentleman's outfitting department. We would like some bear's pyjamas, please, said Mrs. Brown. Bear's pyjamas, repeated the assistant. Has Modem tried something in government surplus? Indeed not, said Mrs. Brown. I've never heard anything like it. Have you, Paddington? Never, said Paddington hotly. And he gave the man one of his special hard stares. Yes, sir, said the assistant. Uh, at once, sir. He's been sleeping in his duffel coat, explained Mrs. Brown, and we don't want that. We certainly don't, agreed the assistant. Would the young uh, gentleman care for something in stripes? They're all the rage just now. I'd sooner have something in spots, said Paddington. If I had a pair like these, I don't think I would ever get lost, not even if I fell out of bed by mistake. You can say that again, murmured Judy. The changing room's on the right, called the assistant. Don't go wrong. I do hope they fit, said Mrs. Brown. He'll be most disappointed if they don't. So shall we all, madam, said the assistant. So far, pyjama week at Barkridge's had been a disaster. In fact, Paddington was the first customer they'd had for days. But if Barkridge's were unhappy about their pyjamas, Paddington was even more upset by the state of their changing rooms. As far as he could make out, most of the doors were locked. And when he did find one which opened, he practically had to force his way through. <coughs> On the other hand, once inside, it was all very different. It was more like the inside of a house, and he was most impressed. Paddington wasn't sure how long he slept, but he was suddenly woken by a very strange noise. It sounded just like rain, but as he looked out of the window, he had yet another shock. Well, said a voice behind him, what are you doing in our shop window, Bear? Your shop window, repeated Paddington. He suddenly wished he hadn't bought such loud pyjamas. Oh dear, he announced to the world in general, I think I've been recognized. But to his surprise, the manager of Barkridge's was more than delighted with all that had happened. Bear, he boomed, you're what we in the trade call a trend setter. Since you went to bed in our shop window, those pajamas have been selling like hot cakes. Look at them. They've all gone. And to show just how pleased he was, he offered Paddington anything he liked to choose in the store as a present. Paddington licked his lips. All the excitement had made him feel hungry, and he was tempted to ask for one of the hot cakes the manager had mentioned. Then he caught sight of the very thing, some Wellington boots. I'd like a pair of these, please, he announced. If it rains the next time I'm in bed, it'll stop the ends of my pyjamas getting soggy. That would never do, especially now you've sold out. <laughs> 